Yeah, we're bringing watermelons to the Dolly Museum for a staff cookout tonight. This building was actually made as a marine warehouse. We took it over to show art, but uh, it's really not safe in terms of the inclement weather. So we're building a new building uh, about half a mile north, an impregnable fortress of concrete and steel. Welcome to the Dolly Museum. Our collection is the most valuable collection of a single artist in the United States. And it was garnered over a 40-year period by collectors who, through the cataclysms of World War II, put together an unparalleled collection. non pareil, as they say. And uh, they gave it to us, to the city of St. Petersburg. So it needs a secure home. This building will house the new Dolly Museum. It's going to be the kind of iconic image of this area. There will be this irrational element of glass. This glass sort of represents the imagination and the Apollonian element of human existence and saying, come on in and think. That's why we're having this little dinner tonight, to let the staff know the progress on this great new building, the crown. This is all done for us. This building is going to be our museum. I look at the art collection as kind of an engine. You have to use it to drive something. So we try to drive uh, enjoyment of life, experimentation, but always about that central question that art raises, which is, what is it like to be alive today? Cheers. Cheers. And we have this precious and premier collection that can be the beginning for everybody to remake their lives. What will we make of ourselves tomorrow? Thank you.